And I know, uh, I know of one mom who, she could have written this article. She did everything that I just mentioned. Everything was done in her home. And a few years ago, she called me, and her son was in college, and she said, you know, my son just called me, and he told me he's not praying anymore. He told me he's not feeling the deen. And she said it really calmly, and I said to her, why aren't you, pa why aren't you panicking? Why aren't you freaking out? How can you tell me that he's not practicing the deen or praying anymore so calmly. And she said, because I have a high opinion of my Lord. She said, from day one, I have been praying for my children's akhira, for my children's deen. And I know that those duas didn't just disappear into thin air. I know that they have been, re that they've reached Allah. And I know that those duas will be answered in his time, not my time. But I know I can, inshallah, face Allah and say, I did what was required of me. Now, he has his journey. My child has his own journey. We all have our own journeys, and we're not responsible for the end result. And the first time I told this story, the first few times I told this story, I cried because it was just so heart-wrenching, you know. But I'm happy to report now that her son is back, and he's practicing the deen again, and he's praying. And she, what she did was she kept an open door, she kept relations with him. She was loving to him. But she kept doing, and her husband kept doing, and the other children kept doing everything that they believed was correct in the deen. And the kids saw that. He saw that they were, they were willing to leave him behind. Fine, you don't want to pray? Don't pray. We're still moving forward towards our Lord. And he came back, alhamdulillah.